Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. Remember my body, clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick, you need a tissue. You drop a body, I just might bless you. I'm at your session. What is going on, everyone? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be basically talking about how to improve in arena and how to actually win your arena games or just get better in general and maybe get even to champs or get to the level where you want to be and you feel comfortable at. Or like I said, if you really need to get into the tournament for like the squad arena or the squad FNCS or something like that, this video will help you in solos. For squads, I guess you can use these tips as well, but they're basically meant for solos. If you guys want to see a squad video, just let me know down in the comments and then I can make it for you guys. And like I say every video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment what you want to see for a future video. I'm always reading your guys' thoughts and comments, and I'm always trying my best to do what you guys want to see. And make sure you leave a like and use creator code WRAITHFN in the item shop to show your support for me. And let's get right into today video so the first tip I'm gonna give is basically dependent on where you are in arena and like what kind of points you're at so basically like right now in this video I'm at a thousand nine hundred ish points so what I like to do is when I'm at kind of under four thousand points ish I just like to W key as much as possible get that practicing feel confident make sure I kind of know like how to take a fight and I feel confident when I'm taking a fight, etc, etc. Because obviously the more you fight, better players, the better you're going to feel, the more confident you're going to feel. So when I'm low points, I kind of just practice like, again, like I said, just W keying and practice doing different things and maybe trying a couple things that I haven't done in a while or something like that. Again, all kind of depends on what your kind of style is. But then once I start getting to higher point levels, like once I start getting like, contenders to level then I start to reel it back a little bit because people are starting to get better and it becomes a little bit more difficult to W key or the fights will take longer etc etc so at my range I kind of stop at around 4,000 points stop kind of W key and start to play it a little bit more smart and play for end game a little bit but it could defer for you you could maybe it could be 2,000 points for you and then if you feel like fights are taking too long or you're losing a couple times just reel it back don't w key don't be so offensive and maybe just chill for a little bit and practice like playing the late game and practice winning the game so again it kind of defers for each person for me it's around 4,000 points for you it could be different but just kind of when you start to struggle and stop seeing you win in fights as much etc etc then yeah just chill a little bit and maybe just try and play a little bit more passive so the next tip is again kind of play with your play style and it's basically if your play style is hot dropping and you like landing retail row or you like landing pleasant or somewhere like that like you have like you feel confident landing at these spots well then stick with it like there's no reason not to stick with it if you're feeling confident and you feel like you can win most of your fights early game even if you only have like an SMG or something well then yeah sure do that but if you're a type of player where you like to play a little bit more kind of passive and reserved like I do, then maybe what your play style would be, and again, this is depending on what points you're at, is just land somewhere kind of off the map, like off the grid where like it's not a POI or something like that, and just scatter loot. So basically you farm up, you get a couple like loot pass, stuff like that, and then once you fight someone, you're probably going to be at minimum 150 shield with a decent loadout. Like for me, I really don't like fighting when I don't have a full loadout. I don't know. I'm just not as confident. Um, I don't know. It's just something that I feel like I especially need to work on this because when I only have an SMG or an AR, I don't really feel that comfortable going in a fight. And I know some people like, especially people on controller who have aim assist, they definitely feel a lot more comfortable than I do. So that's why I kind of like to land reserved. But again, it's kind of your play style and what you like to do. Again, some people just like landing hot drop or POIs when they're choosing a drop spot. Personally, I don't, but it's all up to you. So my next tip, and this is a big one, and again, I even struggle with this sometimes, and it has to do with confidence, is you can't be afraid to lose points or die. Like, I struggle with this a lot when I'm, like, 400 points out of Champions League. I'm like, oh, well, like, all I need is, like, 10 games where I don't die, and I'm basically in, and then, like, I can just chill or whatever. And then I start to get a little bit nervous. I start to try and avoid fights, or when I get in a fight, my confidence drops because I'm like, well, I can't lose this fight. Like, I don't know, like... I can't lose points because it'll just take me longer, right? And I've been working on it recently, and trust me, it is a big thing you gotta make sure you're not doing. You can't be like 
scared going in a fight because you don't want to get ranked down or you can't be nervous because you're get, not going to make it into champions if you lose this fight like for some reason it was just like i was more i felt better literally in tournaments than i did when i was like instead of 300 points out of champions league which is really really bad and like i said i've been working on it because it is a big deal you can have lower confidence going in a fight and you can't feel like if you lose this fight it's the end all be all because it's not unless you're like the tournaments the next day and you're like 600 points away well then yeah obviously a little bit of pressure is going to be on you but in most case scenarios you're just going to be grinding arena to get points or even improve so don't worry about if you get deranked there's always more time and you always have plenty of time maybe it could just be if you keep getting deranked it's because maybe you're not at that level yet right so again you got to take it into case you got to take it into the scenario of you just might not be ready and then learn and just keep practicing so my next tip, and this is a big one, especially inside of this season, and it's basically rotate early. Now, you might be wondering, you might be like, well, what do you mean, like, rotate early? Like, do you mean just, like, leave your loot spot or whatever? And this is especially true for this season, and I've noticed it so, so much, that if you don't rotate early and you get stuck in the storm, you're basically dead, whether it's from someone else stuck in the storm, from the storm damage itself or someone just waiting for someone like you to leave and then gonna storm hold you trust me it's a big thing especially right now in season 11 since there's no mobility this is probably the one thing i've taken away the most out of all my arena games is if i'm not rotating early or i'm taking a fight in storm there's a very high chance that i'm gonna die or i'm gonna be at such a low hp when i come out of the um come out of the fight that it's not even gonna be worth it so trust me rotate early if you see a fight but storms right on you even if you're at low points probably just don't take it like you can just wait for them when you get out of the zone and then you're chilling right now my next tip is a lot of people don't actually do this either it's be aware of where your placement is so some people i know and this makes me so frustrated when someone does it to me and even i do this a little bit but it's bad is you'll hit someone for like 30 damage and then you'll go in and push and it'll be a kind of a quick fight and maybe they just hit a lucky like 160 on you or they have a purple or golden pump and they 200 you or something like that and then you look at the top of your screen and you came like 26th or 27th place or 16th 17th place right it's super super frustrating some people do this in tournaments and a lot of people do it in arena but basically if you're really 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 close to getting placement like you're one or two placement away literally just don't like just don't push anyone like there's no point unless you hit someone for like a 100 damage or like you hit them for white twice or something like that like some crazy damage well then yeah it's a little bit different then you it's okay to push like don't worry about it like that's fine but i'm saying if you hit someone for like 30 shield or like you see someone right next to you and you just double like triple ramp rush them and like just w key strictly towards them and you're at like 20 there's like 27 people left probably not the best idea even if you're at lower points again just get the placement then you just wasted all your time in the game just like rotating um going to zone maybe fighting maybe not maybe looting up a little bit right like it's just frustrating like i get this so many times where i'll die especially in tournament where someone will w key me and i get like 26 or 27 spot and that is not fun it's not a good feeling like trust me you don't want that feeling and plus you just wasted a long time surviving all the way up to that end not to get any points right so definitely do not w key someone unless you hit them for a lot um when you're like really really close to placement again you can if you hit them for a lot but it's all kind of your decision also if someone w keys you and it's like 26 or 16th literally just box fight them and play super passive um especially if you're low like if you got hit for if someone w keyed you and you got hit for like 140 instead of just making that big 200 try and go for that 200 pump edit um maybe just play a little bit more passive and just play in your box wait till the placement and then you can try for the big 200 damage pump because then even if you die you got some points out of it uh whether it's for a tournament whether it's for arena right you just kind of feel a little bit better and obviously especially in a tournament if you don't get a lot of points or you waste 20 minutes in a game and you get zero points well not really worth it right especially in arena like when you're getting to champions every kind of point matters because sometimes it is a pain but yeah and then the last tip i'm gonna give is don't be afraid of 50 or don't sorry don't do 50 50s i was reading another part of my notes um basically when you're landing if you're hot dropping or whatever the case is whatever you do don't land 50 50 for a chest which basically means if someone else is going for the chest 
don't go for it because you never know what can happen. They can get it first or you can knock it out. Whatever the case is, you can get a sniper. Just don't 50-50. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you slap a like button. Comment what you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you use creator code WraithFN in the item shop. Peace, guys. See ya.